Howdy folks, Axel here. And today we're just going to be having a little bit of fun here, uh, getting a character up. We'll see who that character is in just a minute, but I wanted to uh, just have a quick little shout out here to, unfortunately, um, Akira Toriyama, the creator of Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z, Dragon Ball Super, Dragon Ball in general, has passed away. Um, so... Because of that, we're going to be listening to a little bit of uh, Dragon Ball in the background and uh, just have a little bit of fun here. So uh, with that, the character I've, uh, I've been thinking about getting up here is uh, none other than... Uh, let's see if I can find him here. It's, the funny thing is I have had Grimjow here at uh, three star for the longest time. I had him at three star for probably... Uh, a year or so at least and then randomly I'm like yeah no I'll get him up to four star just for bonds so I did and uh, I'm like you know what I have all these extra um, omnis to use here who do I use them on talked again and we had a little conversation and we decided that uh, I think the best character that would be in my play style would be Grimjow because I am a very offensive player I do like to do a lot I just like to see big numbers which I'm sure everyone uh, definitely knows by now. So, uh, with that, uh, we're going to be getting Grimjow to 7-star, having a little bit of fun, and, uh, yeah, let's just, uh, hop into it here. Uh, first, I'm going to get him up to 6-star, actually, no, this, yeah, 6-star. I got him up to, uh, to 5-star, um, probably, uh, a couple weeks ago, and then I'm like, you know what, I might as well just make a video of me getting him to 6-star, just for you know, fun. So, uh, with that, oh, you know what? I have a whole lot of these things. So, um, with 880 of these Omni shard chests, uh, I should be getting what? 30% ish back. So, uh, 240 to, I think anything over, well, let's do this. Let's do these and these. So with these combined, I should be getting hopefully 300 back uh if i get anything over 300 and 300 i'll be happy anything below a little disappointed but anything over like 330 would be amazing so uh first things first 26 i get seven back that is a little low a little low so with that 880 200 so i got about 288 back that is actually a little low mate that's probably actually average usually around 25 to 30 percent is average so uh that is around average which isn't too bad uh would have liked a little bit more but i mean it is what it is um, but with that i actually have more than 360 now 464. Who knows? Maybe I'll uh, get another character up to uh, like six. You know what? I do need to get Orihime. I think she's next on my list. I need to get her to six star. But actually, when I was talking to Gin, I was I was trying to talk to him about getting Noel to seven star because I really want to get Noel to seven star. I have her weapon at purple. She was actually the I think she was the first character. She was the first event character I ever got a weapon to purple because the character was never coming back. So I was like, all right, you know, I'm going to push a little bit harder, get her weapon to purple. So I did get Noel's weapon to purple. Um, but uh, if I do get another character up, it's probably going to be Noel. Um, if I go with Noel, I'm going to have to get Aizen up as well. And ooh, I don't really want to get Aizen up, but uh, if I do get um noel eisen will be not too far behind but uh let's go ahead and push back over to grimja here promote get him to seven star bazinga uh i i've been really thinking about getting him up to seven star for a while but never really you know pulled the trigger but now's a good time Now's a good time. Uh, crit chance up. I'm looking for damage rate. Uh, crit damage. Anything like that. 
not exactly crit chance because he doesn't really need crit chance. Uh, damage rate at purple. This isn't bad. I mean, damage reduction by 4%, damage rate by 3%, but I'd like to get one gold or maybe a red. Damage rate, not bad. Once again, please give me something. Goodness gracious, this is just awful. Damage rate, damage reduction, block chance. Holy cow, what is going on here? All right, this is it. Oh my gosh. This is awful honing. Block pierce. You know what? I'm done. That I put too many extra uh, shards into him. But let's go ahead and take a look here at War Souls. Uh, you know what? Let's actually listen to this song here. It's been a minute since I've heard this one. Actually, uh, since I'm talking about, uh, since we're also talking about Dragon Ball here on uh, this, uh, this video, I remember, I remember uh, as a kid coming home from school, watching like Digimon, um, Dragon Ball, or D Dragon Ball Z, Pokemon, like all those shows as a kid, you know, Power Rangers, stuff like that. Mighty Morphin Power Rangers even, you know, back in the 90s. Yeah, that's how old I am. You could do the math. Um, yeah, it's... Uh, that was a good childhood right there, might I add. But uh, yeah, so... Good times watching Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z. Um, but yeah, I guess not everybody is meant to live forever. And nobody is going to live forever, so... Uh, with that, what am I at? 202k attack, 192. And he actually should probably get him up. I haven't really uh, got him up. I've gotten his gear up a little bit. But uh, I need to get him up. Um, actually, speaking of which, we have World Championship coming soon here in about five days. Uh, what? Yeah, about five days we got World Championship coming. So that's going to be some fun. And uh, I can't wait to actually mess around with that because I'm going to actually have some really good teams here because let's take a look. I have... I now have uh, Kazushini at 7 star, so he's going to be doing some damage. I have Grimjow at 7 star, so he's going to be doing some damage. Uh, I can actually... I was actually thinking about teams I can run with Grimjow, possibly. And I think he would go pretty well. Alright, let's 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 theorize here, okay, fellas? Let's theorize here. Let's get rid of all of you. So, I was thinking, if I go just one-shot team, I can run something like Ichigo. I can run... Uh, I could run Kazushini, probably not. I could run Kazushini, though. Uh, if I do... Actually, no. I don't really want to run Kazushini, do I? No, I don't. I think I'd rather run Grimjow. Uh, if I remember, Grimjow goes last, because he does more things when HP is low. Ichigo does more things when their HP is high. So, maybe I could possibly run, like, that or something. And then... I can, I could even toss somebody like this in there, but the thing is, is if I run Ichigo, I have to have uh, Nell, so let's go like that. I could toss him in there, get the Soul Hall, but now I'm going to need something like, uh, let's see here, I could probably run... You know what? Just just to keep people alive, I can run her. Nimu. I could also run something like healing. But then if I do run her, I'm going to need somebody from here. Which means I could either run... Uh, I could probably run... Um, Sogyo. Because Sogyo and Grim actually kind of go pretty well together. 
but if I do that, if I run Sogyo, I'm going to want to run, uh, let's see. I could probably go like this. Because, yeah, I think that'll be fine. Having I could also run it like this, but I think I'm going to have to run it like this. Uh, okay, I got the soul. Wait, I don't have soul? Oh, I don't, because... Ichigo's not a soul hall leader. Um, I'm gonna need a soul hall. So, I can possibly take out. Whoopsies, didn't mean to take you out. I can probably take her out. And I can run. Well, here's the thing: is also. I could take out Grimjow, I could run something like Kazushini, and then toss... There you go. So something like this, maybe. There you go. That way I have three kill characters right out of the gate. Ichigo is probably going to kill somebody as soon as the match starts. Uh, and then Kazushini will probably kill somebody as soon as the match starts. And then if neither of them kill somebody then Mudamasa will absolutely kill somebody. But with that, the next round, um, I'll have Tricked marked on one of the enemy from the back row, and then most likely one of these two are going to rage again because they have pretty good uh, rage. So they're going to get their rage back pretty quickly, and then they can hit the back row again if by some miracle... Uh, the main target from Kazushini doesn't die. But, uh, yeah. Uh, let's see. What if I take out Kazi? What if I put in Grim? Um, I'm still running the Soul Hall. What if I... Let's see here. Is there a different character I can run? Because I... I'm not really a too big of a fan of running them two together. I know it's like a big thing, you know, people like to run them together because if, if it hits, especially in the Brazilian community, like, that's one of their staple team comps. But, you know, I like to be creative here. Hence the last team comp I saw you is a little creative. Uh, if I want to be really tanky, you know, I could put, like, Renji in there. He's super tanky. If I want to put some security in there, I could run that. Uh, let's see. Who else is not bad? Uh, I mean, if I'm trying to run, like, super DPS, I could throw him in there. Mm, that's CC. Uh, yeah, I probably either have to run extra damage here, or, I'm sorry, extra tankiness here. A little bit of, uh, security here. Uh, crit isn't bad, but the problem is, is, like, all three of these characters get, like, crit, like, Ichigo maxes crit, like, immediately. Grimjow is guaranteed crit. Mudomasa, he is the only one that needs crit, but I think I have a crit hone on him, so I could just run a crit warsel on him. But, uh, let's see. Either... I don't really want to run Rukia, because Rukia is damaged to... Well, I guess Rukia is damaged to the back row, so that would help Mudamasa out a little bit. But I think, realistically, I'd probably want to run this right there. Uh, if I were to run this lousy team comp. No, I'm kidding. It's not too bad. Just a lot of damage. Look at this. Three character killers in the back row. It's pretty nasty. But, uh, let's see. Any other shenanigans I can pull here? One of the one of the team comps I see people run a lot is something along these lines here. Uh, I see him in there. I see uh, who else? He always goes like last, last. Uh, let's see. And then I see something like either him in there I could see I could see um, him in there let's just go like that although sometimes I see this <clears throat> so 
Uh, let's see. Who else? I need somebody from here. You can run extra healing like this. You can run... Um, you you can run Cura in there just to when you when you get the crit off it crits really really hard. Uh, but maybe even something like that. That is not too bad of a of a go to. Uh, but if I do that, then I'd probably want to swap over um, him. That's not too bad of a team comp. It's not great, but it's not bad. I have a lot of. A lot of tankiness. In the, well, not a lot of tankiness, but super tank here. I have just tons of damage with these two. If somehow or another, let's just say, they take out Grimjow, I now have... Uh, I now have Biakia in here. And uh, a bunch of other characters that will just slowly drain the enemy's HP. Especially with the Gingerbread Man Warsaw. So... Uh, with that, I'm actually going to wrap this one up. I'm pushing... I'm almost uh, 20 minutes in at this point, so I'm going to wrap this one up. But once again, guys, um, really saddened by Akira Toriyama passing away. That is very, very unfortunate. I really hope that uh, we can get some uh, more. <sighs> okay, so since I'm on this topic again, uh, I really want them to release another Dragon Ball Super season. They there was talks of it. Um, in 2023 about, hey, you know, something's going to come out, something's going to come out near the end of the year, and it never did. So I really hope that uh, somewhere along the line we can get some more Dragon Ball Super, but with the Kiri Toriyama passing, um, I'm not sure how much more we can get. But, uh, yeah, it should be interesting, nonetheless, if we can uh, get some more Dragon Ball Super content. Uh even though I'm talking about Dragon Ball in a Bleach video. But uh, with that, I'm probably going to make some videos here just messing around with teams. Um, oh, it may be in Kenpachi. Maybe not. I don't really do Kenpachi too much. I could actually uh, mess around with uh, some team comps here. Show you guys some team comps or something. But yeah, uh, I'm sure we'll. I'm sure I'll get something going soon. I've been on hiatus, haven't really done much for, as far as video content goes lately. I haven't really been feeling it, to be honest. But, we'll get something going. I'm still here, I'm still alive. Um, who knows, you know what? Who knows, I might even consider uh, streaming. And, well, I was going to say, I could stream uh, watching um, Dragon Ball. Dragon Ball Z, Dragon Ball Super, whatever. But uh, I think that would be a no-no as far as, like, legality goes. You're not allowed to show that stuff without getting, like, banned and stuff like that. So if I did, it would have to be on Discord. It would be, like, a little, you know, hangout Discord. Uh, not actual streaming, but people can pop into the chat room and whatnot. And then watch me uh, stream on Discord. But, uh, yeah, let me know what your guys' thoughts are. Uh, maybe I can stream. I don't know. We'll see what uh, this channel turns into and... How it goes, but one thing goes for sure is that is that I I enjoy talking, so I want to keep this YouTube channel alive. Whether it's talking about uh, Dragon Ball, whether it's talking about Bleach, Bleach Mortal Soul, uh, Bleach the anime, um, the manga, uh, anything you know, news. I want to keep this channel going because it's fun. But uh, let me know what you guys think. Should I stream? What do you guys think? Join my Discord. Link in the description. Peace. Peace.